No, bro, he doesn't just wide swing that shit. Oh, it's time to explain off angles. Time to explain off angles to the boy. So we're going to use this as an example. I'm going to daddy peek here. I'm going to daddy peek here. And then I'm going to daddy peek tree. Okay. Okay. Here, here, and tree. And now we're going to pretend that the holder is in this off angle. Right here. Peek. Peek. Whoa. So now notice how wide I am to them. And now let's hecking. <laughs> That's me. That's how wide. That's a lot wider than you thought it was going to be. Yeah. When you're in an off angle, you get accidentally wide peaked. Always. That's just how it works. People don't tight peak off angles. They just don't because it doesn't it doesn't make sense. People don't do this. This, 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 because they're dead. They'll just die to the tree guy in that scenario because the tree guy will see their shoulder and kill them. So they just hope you're not in an off angle and come out over here. And from the perspective of this player, they're actually swinging way out here. So you're in an off angle. Because who the hell's peeking up there? Ain't nobody. Who's peeking here, peeking here, and you know what he's doing? He's coming across to peek here. Roughly, uh, let's find the line. Here, there. He would be two, 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 two. Roughly aligned with a bit to the left of this. Let's see where he was. I thought he got bombed. Literally exactly there. He's not wide swinging you. You're off angling him. <laughs> this is the natural effect of the decision you made. This guy's not doing anything special. This is exactly what you would do if you were in their position. It's exactly what a Radiant's doing. This is a normal peak from the race because you caught her off guard. Hello gamers, look at your elo. Now look at mine. Now back to your elo. Now back to mine. Sadly, it isn't mine. But if you stop autopiloting outdated strategies and start getting free VOD review coaching, it could look like it's mine. Look down, back up. Where are you? You're on bind. With the strats, your strats could be like, what's in your hand? Back at me, I have it. It's the Valorant gift card from Wuhujin. For your successful follow-up thought, look again. The gift card is now an ego vandal. Anything is possible when you get your Valorant tips from a talking banana and not TikTok. I'm on a gaming chair. <laughs>I like this. Raise arc, raise arc. Relatable. Okay. Kind of up good. Nothing like me for real. Okay. Okay. Here's Wuhujin's flowchart to shot calling pistol round on Lotus. Do they have Killjoy or Viper? Yeah. All right. Let's not go see. Do they have raise or fade? Yeah. All right. Let's start slow A, smoke here, and we're actually going to end B. The idea is if they don't have raise, like let's say this is chat, but then I'm going to call that we're going to end A. If they don't have Killjoy, let's say this is chamber, I'm going to call that we're going to end C. And if they've got both, I'm going to make a call that ends B. That's my pistol flow chart. Feel free to steal it. Anyways, now that I've advertised that, I'm going to call something different my next Lotus game. So I don't like going C against the Killjoy. Um, I mean, as long as you, if you satchel the utility can be pretty good, but you're going to do this. You see? So what, um, what pro players are like to do, and it is kind of boring, but you can throw the same nade. Then you just walk up here. And you just huck a satchel on the ground and it breaks all of her utility and then you use one satchel and go bend it's way less cool but it gets the job done is this double satchel is uh really dangerous like notice your jet just died to the util nice kill here he goes Okay, you technically can't plant here. You're going to get away with it because we're in platinum. But here, I'm going to boot up Valorant because this feels bad and you don't want to plant default. Nobody wants to plant default. So the problem with the plant you're doing here is these guys are going to spam you on this line once you get into higher elo. They're going to ping the, the mound plant. They're going to walk over here and they're going to shoot some bullets. They're just going to do that. And if they do that, you're just dead. You're just dead for free you have to put yourself in their shoes 
they're going to ping like there. this there okay they're gonna come out and they're gonna spray like this or they're gonna be up here and it'll be the same idea they're gonna spray like this nice and tight so all you gotta do is instead of playing right here you can play right here you can literally just play it like right over here and you're chilling you are chilling if you don't want to play it over here um you can also play it over here and ask your teammates to watch your ct but if they've got really good ears on them and they might then that's not going to work either because they'll hear it all the way over here but the thing is if you plant it just a little yeah. bit off it'll sound like it's the normal mound plant and they'll spam it yes yeah, now it gets hard let's see it <laughs> wait this is so uncreative but did you call anything let's uh go b but slow yeah. see one of them or kill them whatever you just run out yeah. can we go see us <laughs> <laughs> let's go beep slow i want to contact up and I'll, once we see one we'll explode here let's go see actually <laughs> okay 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 I'm going to give you partial credit. I'm going to say this is 80% not your fault. If you want it to 100% be not your fault, I need you calling that B contact closer to this point in time. Stop thinking so much about it. This is your problem. The first like four rounds of the game, you, you're not going to have a read on these guys. You can't. It's too, it's too early. So just throw a random strat out there, man. It doesn't matter. You could call it a fake, a B fake, a C fake, an A contact, a B contact, a C contact, an A rush, a B rush, a C rush. I don't care. The most important part is how quickly you call call it because um because of this reason. It's like we're calling at this point. It's as if like you're only throwing it out there because nobody else has said anything. It's like less confidence or whatever. You can just be like, you know, it's fake A. I just need Omen over here with me. We'll throw a smoke. I'll throw a nade and you guys walk up C. Don't make any noise. Or yo, let's contact B. This Valorant game is a dream right now, man. <laughs> oh, that's lost. That's lost. You don't have to push this. He pushed on me that we need it. I'm gonna need Rumble. Too close. Too close, too close. Okay, 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 okay. You're you're not a leader. And that's okay. But that's why these things are happening instead of saying reset let's go b let's go b you're saying we don't have to push this you're like suggesting instead of commanding you know the team needs a, a leader i don't know if it's going to be sage this game or something but we we don't have much direction here you're just pretty dumb for hitting getting hit by the season aid but also like the way we call it is pretty weak too until a while ago hey that dude's alt tapped right now i i'm not gonna lie to you i've played enough solo queue to know that it is jet she ran over here and now she's checking her discord dms you command them won't they take it personally or something okay so first of all valorant teammates are gonna take everything personally or something if you want to play a game where your teammates won't get mad at you go play starcraft 2 because then you can play 1v1 no matter what you do in valorant your teammates are gonna get mad at you inevitably for something so who cares there is nothing wrong with saying yo cancel go b there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing toxic about it there's nothing bossy about that that's just being an igl okay if your teammates get mad at you for doing that it's got nothing to do with the fact that you call to play and everything to do with the fact that they were gonna get mad at you anyways for anything Dude, people just get mad man yeah, your, your gunfight hygiene is really bad here. So your your raise hygiene is also pretty bad, but so is mine. So I can't fault you too much for this one because I'm working on this right now. But as the raise main, what you should be doing when you get surprised like this is throwing a quick satchel and coming over here. Like the moment you get surprised, you can. It's actually really fast. Like you jump up, your crosshair is here, but they're there. You just satchel. It's actually really good. You just, it's really fast. Let's say you're Reyna and you have to take this fight. And the guy's here. You need to crouch and you need to move to like dodge their crosshair. But you've got to be mobile. I'd probably even press crouch up and down. Instead, you just plant your feet and you crouch and you spray like this. So your head becomes a completely stationary target for them. You know what they're doing? Close. They're moving. You see it. Which is why it's so hard for you to hit them. 
Bolts are from heaven. You have a chamber flea. Chill, chill, chill. Unbreakable. Teleport's ready. Oh, nice try. Yeah, you really have to. You can't just say once back here. From heaven. You have a chamber flank. Chill, chill, chill. Like way back here, you say you have a chamber flank. Chill, chill, chill. That comm is not going to sit with Space Monkey for the next 10 seconds. So now they get on the bomb. Space Monkey's nervous. You know why? Space Monkey ain't looking at their mini map. Space Monkey's looking at their crosshair because they're alone. Space Monkey's right here. They hear the bomb get tapped and they're looking at their crosshair. You got it? Because they're afraid they're going to get peaked. And so now they're like, well, it's been like four or five seconds. I got to stop the defuse or we're going to lose. Do you see? That's why they peaked. They're not peaking because they're ignoring your call. They're peaking because enough time has passed since your call that they're worried. They're panicked. Like, Don't peek, Jet. Don't peek. Chamber first. Chamber first. He's got this. Chamber comes out and now just like he's more calm. And that's why she's peeking. Now, unfortunately, your chamber is hacking really bad at the game. Unbreakable. Yeah, I just hold that guy. I think you're too hesitant to insta pop your ult. Like right there. I'm doing it. Boomba sees a guy. Bet. Bet. Stay off the exit. Come back. Push A or whatever. Or okay, fine. He flashes. You fall back. Okay, this is walled off. Go. Take A. Just do it. Just do it. We're, we're too slow. We're too slow. The Razel wants to go first because it's it's the best thing to go first. You're not necessarily gonna get one. But the Razel is always going to get traded at like the very least because of how long it takes them to kill you because of how like mobile you are. The ult. But frequently you get one as well. Like look, your team's already taken sight now. Your, your jet is on site fighting right now. You see? Dude, this is so slow that now there's only one guy left. Oh, he's okay. Nice. nice old, but he shouldn't have given that to you. Cross dead. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. What do you mean? What do you mean? Let me try to peek. Sucking. Cross dead. I'm sucking. Nice. What do you mean full crowd spray? I'm fine. Oh, Wait, what do you mean nade Ben? Oh, yeah, of course she's not. Okay, 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 okay. Cross. So in this scenario, there's like almost a 0% chance that kills her is Ben. Because the only way she'd be Ben is if she started here to play off of Fade. But we would have seen her. She would have peeked out here to try and get like a trade or something. And then she runs Ben. Or she started Ben and full baited this Fade. Unlikely. So she'd probably be. Because she's coming waterfall. Nice. <laughs> what? One enemy heaven. 40. More heaven. One heaven. 40. It's like you know they're heaven and then you willingly opt into this peak. Which is just so crazy to me. Like that has to be probably the worst odds of all time. I think the only way you're peeking this is if you're satcheling across and then you get info on them if they were wide. You can always satchel back now to distance yourself. But over here with Omen, we're showing like a lack of understanding of concepts. So the problem here is how close you are to the corner and how close they are as well. When you peek out close, you're very fast, which is fine when you're close, for example, like this, because you're peeking out. It's a very tight thing that you'd be exposing. So there's not much variance to where they can be. Does that make sense? So being close isn't the problem. It's not the problem because here I'm close and this is totally fine. This peak is 100% acceptable. Problem is that when you peek out, you're exposing a million angles. That's the problem here. And you can't really slice the pie here because you're close to the angle. You're too close. So th there's not really a good play other than I, I'm probably falling back. I'll just have Omen that can peek out with me and I can fight here. 
because now I can shift peek because I've got an angle advantage. Or yeah, like I said, use satchel across over this way. Like, like just use the satchels to minimize the risk here. Bro, why aren't your other gunfights like this? Oh my god, wait, you actually started crowd spraying this second gunfight already though. So it should be free. He ult that? No. Last player standing. Have been over and over. Yeah, so I would have been down to play for your ult here too. Like great kill on Murphy. But now you can just insta ult. You know? You can just blast their ass. It's really good. And of course, if they're not here, come up, you don't see them. Well, then come over here because they might already be in drop. If they're not, well, then you've got another satchel. Like, you are chilling. You'll get all of heaven control for free. It is so good. This ultimate ability is like broken. It's basically a free conversion at this point. It's risky, but I'm double satcheling. But your jet's already out. <laughs> no, bro, you are vulnerable. getting two body shotted what well, let me let me see the pre-round you'll see again she seems free what she seems free let's go see she seems free is not a call i want to hear you know why if my teammate comes that i'm gonna think to myself this guy has no fucking idea what they're doing why does it seem free dude talk to them why is it free do they always play a bend it's a free kill with your nade you'll nade and then they'll have to peek out and you all hold them is it free because they always play passively waterfall will just flood out is it free because they always peek out mound as fade and fight i don't know why it's free yeah, okay so there was no pre-round coordination but now you see jet is literally dash updrafting in front of you so why are you backing up to double satchel, dude? This is the part where I tell you satchel. Jing likes to route this way. Look at my hecking. Look at my look at my air strafe or lack thereof. Oh my god. How do you air strafe off of a single satchel efficiently? There we go. I gotta learn how to do this one. Satchel you know, let's do it wider. Jing likes to go waterfall like this in these scenarios and fight here. Because his jet's already contesting bend. You've got a nade there. It's all good. That's kills right. Put that. More picking close than bro. Bro. More picking close than remaining. Spike down. He's on me. He's a tree, 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 tree. You cannot fire your gun like that. Uh, he was there last. That is so messed up. You just said, are you sure he's free? He's a uh, tree, 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 tree. Open the door, boom, bot through. He's tree, dude. But he wasn't tree. You don't know that. The teammates said tree. I mean, they can't get out of tree as far as I'm concerned. Your omen's watching here. You've got the door. They're definitely in there. The comm was tree. Use your boom bot. Call Sage over, push through the doors together. You sure, Hooge? He wasn't, though. What do you mean? The guy said tree. That's all that matters. He's a uh, tree, 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 tree. He's tree. Open the door, boom bot. You need a full clear. It's not full clear. You're very doubtful. Why? Why would you doubt a teammate's call? The guy could have timinged you on the door there. Like, there's a million ways that they could still be tree. Just in this situation, you felt he wasn't there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'd rather this goes eight to eight. You get shot in the back because you were so assiduously clearing all of tree. It's way better. And so the most annoying thing is when I'm in a ranked game, I call something and I know it to be true. And my teammate doubts it and dies to it. You know, like they died a tree or whatever. He's like, eh about that one.
Oh, there he is. I'll peek off you. He's with sight. Peek off me, actually. What, 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 what? All right, I right, make it make sense. Let's say that the rays peaks you right here. Okay. I'm going to do the mental geometry real quick. So yeah. that is them. Let's use a penguin. So you see the penguin. All right, here's your sage. What exactly you want her to do now? You want her to... You want her to do that? That doesn't make sense. That's quite the far, far walk. So you had it right the first time. And your sage is holding like this. If you come up close like this, you can peek off of everything she sees easily. Like let's say they're here where sage sees them you're out let's say they're trying to creep up close well sage will see them you're out so you had it right the only way you and the sage can work together is actually if you like you would have to come over here as well um because all of these deeper angles even from up close here she's got to peek way out to see them so it's just like the geometry of it all that sage should hold there you'd hold here and you would peek off of sage's contact into these other fights like I would just be hugging this wall and holding stairs. He's negative for a reason. Just swing him. Oh, yeah. Last player standing. Forty. I thought he got bombed. Yeah, like bro, bro, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? I thought he got bombed. Yeah, he's gonna teleport through the door. You're playing against Kane from League of Legends. He's gonna press E and walk through the wall. This is the literal only threat right now. It's the only one. You got mini map? What? It's 1v1. Yeah, so in hindsight, by the way, the right play here is just walk with Sage because they have to come A at this point. So you come over here with Sage and you control them back into tree. And let's say you're worried that they're out grass now. This boom bot. You walk into tree. Like if they're trying to go B, there. they're going to have to sprint and you and Sage can both hold together now. Like if you just stand right next to Sage, it's so free. It's so free. Just run down the clock now. Oh no, this last fight's fine. Like this last fight is totally fine. This raise took that long to shoot us. Notice how wide she peeked. Like if you think that's an instant one tap, I got news for you. She peeked out like here, bro, before shooting us. She really had to line that shot up because she was peeking out. It was like, oh, there's a lot of time. The reason why it seems so fast is because we weren't aimed at it. If we were just aimed right here and we're immediately shooting and then strafing and shooting, we're winning that fight like 70, 80%. He just wide swings No, bro. He doesn't just wide swing that shit. Oh, it's time to explain off angles. Time to explain off angles to the boy. So we're going to use this as an example. I'm going to daddy peek here. I'm going to daddy peek here. And then I'm going to daddy peek tree. Okay. Okay. Here, here, and tree. And now we're going to pretend that the holder is in this off angle right here. Peek, peek. Whoa. So now notice how wide I am to them. And now let's hecking. <laughs> That's me. That's how wide. That's a lot wider than you thought it was going to be. Yeah. When you're in an off angle, you get accidentally wide peaked. Always. That's just how it works. People don't tight peak off angles. They just don't because it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. People don't do this, 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 because they're dead. They'll just die to the tree guy in that scenario because the tree guy will see their shoulder and kill them. So they just hope you're not in an off angle and come out over here. And from the perspective of this player, they're actually swinging way out here. So you're in an off angle. Because who the hell's peeking up there? Ain't nobody. Who's peeking here, peeking here. And you know what he's doing? He's coming across to peek here. Roughly, uh, let, let's find the line. Here, there. He would be two, two, two. Roughly aligned with a bit to the left of this. Let's see where he was. I thought he got bombed. Literally exactly there. He's not wide swinging you. You're off angling him. <laughs> this is the natural effect of the decision you made. This guy's not doing anything special. 
This is exactly what you would do if you were in their position. It's exactly what a Radiant's doing. This is a normal peek from the race because you caught her off guard. Dox is asking the real questions though. <laughs> that is a real and based question right there. <laughs> oh, denial. We've entered denial. Big Marmik is for the prime. Bro, bro. I'm not going to lie. When your teammates call you out on shit like that, don't mute them. Don't mute them. All you got to do is say, bro, you're not even wrong. I'm so bad. <laughs> say that. And then if they keep leaning into it, then they're the asshole and mute their ass. Okay. But when it genuinely is your fault and your mistake, just own it. Own it. It'd be like, dude, you're not even wrong. I, I got dizzy. I was looking at my mini map. That's my bad. Play slow, Raze. I'm going to bait you. Just swing them. Bro, Space Monkey's a better IGL than you. That's fucked up. You're not following the call. Hey, Space Monkey said he'd bait you. Just swing them. And now you're unpeaking them by walking to your right. Bro, Boombot and get over here. You're unpeaking. Space Monkey just became first in line. Damn, Space Monkey did. You let that thing shoot him twice. Don't over there. No! 40 rays, man. But you are so not ready. Like, you are so not ready. It hurts how not ready you are. I'm pulling up my own clip. I'm pulling up my own clip. Okay. Great ult. I'm the go. Oh, I, I think I tagged. I need heal. Do you see me up here, please? First guy. Skip ahead a bit. I'm backing up. Thank you. More heal. More heal. Fuck. Okay, is this kill right here? This kill is like a high immortal radiant kill. Um, nobody's getting this type of kill in these lower ranks because you're not ready for it. But it's like, why aren't you ready for it? Like, there's nothing about this kill that should surprise you. But I'm pretty sure pretty much everyone watching can't relate to getting a kill like this. Pretty much ever. Like in the heat of the moment, you recognize a threat, you just hold it, and if they peek, you shoot. That's what I do. It's like so obviously correct, but it's so hard. It's so hard for you to just be prepared for these likely threats at all times. But this is what you're missing. You're not ready. Like, there is nothing crazy about this kill, but that's what makes it so frustrating to watch because I, I've been low elo at this game and I've seen kills like this back when I was low elo. These are the most frustrating kills to get shown. Like I show you this kill and it probably pisses you off because like, why don't you get these? Why don't you get these kills? So right now I'm in a smoke. So what am I doing? Mini map. Okay. Okay, I right, back up for my heal. Thank you. In the smoke. You hear boom bot. Okay, now I'm going to look at crosshair because I'm going to peek out. Okay, I kill a guy. Knife out. Where am I looking? Mini map right now because I don't have my gun out. So I'm looking at my mini map. So what do I see? I see teammate here. I see teammate here. Ramps and flank are covered. Okay. Pull my gun out. Crosshair. And now I already know everything's covered. Ramp is covered. Flank is covered. The smoke just went down. My gun's out. So I'm in crosshair mode. So I'm looking right here. Fuck. Okay. The reason why this clip is so frustrating to watch as a lower rated player is because there's no magic here. There's no secret there. It's not like I'm better. It's not like I'm cracked. There's no aim here. She's peeking right onto my crosshair. If I gave you five minutes, you could put your crosshair here. It's not like a skill issue. It's actually like a focus issue. All I'm doing is everything I tell you that I'm you're supposed to be doing. I look at my mini map when I should be. I look at my crosshair when I should be, and I expect them peak. I'm ready to get peaked. That's it. That's it. There's nothing fancy about it. No secret sauce. But because I'm ready to get peaked, I get an insane 2K and we win the round. Bro, <laughs> what? I guess you have Bucky. Yeah, you're baiting me. Satchel, Satchel. Can you smoke that? Not on site yet. Face your fear! On site on. Uh, they both. On site on. Yeah, so the right play after this first Bucky shot is Insta Satchel, but that's kind of tough to do here. Yeah, this... Okay. Whenever you press ult as raised, the muscle memory is you have to satchel first. That's just how it works. Additionally, 
you don't ever want to ult up if you're gonna ult up you need to be satcheling up and this one's kind of awkward as you can see like it's really awkward but your ult needs to hit the ground is the point uh let me try and explain so in the raise ultimate lands let's say it lands um actually we'll draw it on where you hit it first here let me use photoshop so scenario number one you hit here okay whenever your ult hits it draws a circle out from the center okay of like a certain radius like this and everybody in that radius is dead so, so everybody in this circle is dead notice that that's only people way over here because we draw that circle out now let's draw an ult that hits the ground near their feet okay and let's literally copy paste the same circle but let's center it on that dot now of course i'm not like i'm not casting it into a sphere which it should be this is a sphere the point is the thing that hits the ground has more horizontal distance to travel because up here you're at an angle which is you know a squared plus b squared plus c squared basically this b here which is your horizontal component will always be less than c the hypotenuse of your triangle which is no good you want the horizontal component of the explosion from your ultimate to be maximized because this valorant's a horizontal game this dude's mostly just going to move somewhere up here in any of these directions so you want the thing to land with maximized horizontal distance which means you want the center of the sphere to be on the same horizontal plane that the enemy is moving on yeah we can use the jet smoke that's a good good example but like what covers more of sight that or that is that killing more people or is this killing more people Do they see that razor coming they walk over here it lands there oh they're alive they're alive you see that razor coming it lands here oh they're dead they're so dead you are not ready for fights you frequently insta crouch spray body shots cringe not cool don't shoot until you think you are genuinely on the head i will be very strict with this in your next body review. do attack call plays much sooner be around confidence stop moving around so much in the name of unpredictability that doesn't really matter coordinate defensive holds past the point of let's fight x <laughs> you're like defensive plans are way too straightforward